Okay, preps ones and twos, we are going to be practicing some jumping and takeoffs today. Um, we're all stuck at home. I'm hoping you've got a big backyard like mine. If you haven't, you might have to go into your driveway or somewhere else that's safe to practice some jumping. But you've got to find some things around your house for me first. First thing I want you to try and find is a skipping rope. Now, I didn't have a skipping rope, so I just found a piece of rope I had in my garage. Hopefully you've got something like this at home to do the warm-up, but don't worry if you don't have it because then we can go on to some other activities later. So the first thing I want you to do with your rope is I'm going to walk back and hopefully you can see me, is I want you to try and grab your rope and just turn the rope over like this. Now if you can't do that, just try turning it on your side like this or even swapping hands like a big propeller. But make sure no one's near you, that you're going to hit anyone. And then you can go back just to turning the rope over again, just back and forth. And that's all I want you to do. When you've had a few turns of that, say 10 times, just try and bounce on your toes, just on your toes with your rope, while you make your propeller on the side. All I want you to do. Pretty easy? Yes, that is easy. Very easy, very easy. Now what am I going to get you to do next? I'm going to get you to use the rope again. What you might have seen down here on the ground, and I'll get down low so it comes down low, is I've made some circles on the ground just with some things I've found around my house using the rope. So I just found the rope and I made like stepping stones. So I've got some bits of rope there. I've then found an old top I've put on the ground, some hats over here that I've put on the ground, another old top I'm going to use as a stepping stone somewhere, and I've got another piece of rope to make into a stepping stone. So follow me over here. What we're going to do is we're going to pretend we're trying to jump across a river using these stepping stones. Now I want you to pretend there's water everywhere and you are having to jump across the river and the grade twos and ones you've done this before. We're trying to get across the river using a combination of one foot takeoffs and two foot takeoffs and one foot landing and two foot landing. So I'll get this to follow me down here. We might start with one foot, land on one foot land on two feet or take off two feet and land on one. We want to mix them up. So here's my river and I'm going to try and get across the river without falling in, into the spaces I've marked and across to the other side. And then you can try going back the other way. If you've got a brother or sister, you can have a little competition against them who can get across without falling in the water. And what can you do to make it a little bit harder? You take some bits out. I might take out, for example, this jumping stepping stone here. So now I have to jump a little bit further. And the idea is if you can keep on moving and mix up your type of jumps, over here camera, across to the other side. We're going to look at another type of jumping too now that you can do out. Now this one's a little bit different. Instead of jumping far, we're going to try and jump high. And we want to try and jump off one foot. Pretty easy one to do outside if you can find a tree with a branch hanging over, but you can find lots of things. It could be a brick on a wall. It could be a, someone at home holding a ball up if you've got someone at home. But I don't have anyone, so I'm going to use a tree. So I'm going to find a branch that I can't quite reach. That's a bit low. This high one here I'm going to have a go at. And I'm going to go back. And I'm going to run and jump, lifting my knee up and trying to touch that branch as high as I can. So I'm going to go up, touch the branch and land. Now if you can do that, just off one or two steps, that's fantastic, guys. And when you get good at it, Pretend you're in a footy game and you can go back a bit further and really jump 
and launch. What I really want to see you using is your arms to go up like you're taking a mark in footy, even the girls, and then knee up, because that's gonna help us get it higher. So find a branch, find something in your house, around your house that you can jump high at, and if you can do at least five to 10 of those, I'm wrapped. And that's all you have to do this week, guys. Work on your landings and jumps. You can do it down your hallway. Drive your parents crazy. They'll love me for it. You gotta keep them separated.